Well, I'm coming to you this time from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. You can see behind me, we have an empty room. It's our seminar room. Tonight, this place is going to be filled with people seeking how to get free, stay free, and live free. So come to one of our seminar cities and experience the excitement. And of course, you can always come to our brand new ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona, and receive the freedom that you need and you deserve. I'm so glad that finally, after all this time, somebody has banned Harry Potter. It took a parochial school, a Catholic school in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a decade overdue, but thank God it's finally happened. You know, I don't know of a single evangelical Christian school that has officially banned Harry Potter like this Catholic school has. I'm sick of compromising born-again bunch who will not take a stand and constantly waffle. And as a result, we have a generation that has been seduced by the occult. And unfortunately, many Christians are to blame for that, for apologizing for this demonic wizard of Hogwarts series of books that has completely shifted the spiritual paradigm of the Western world. Harry Potter. They have sold in excess of 500 million books. No wonder this pastor is upset. He issued a statement via email, basically saying that these books present witchcraft and magic as either good or evil. And he bluntly said, that's a lie. It's not true. And that what is in the Harry Potter books are spells and incantations of actual evil spirits that they are conjuring. Amen. Good for these folks. Seven books. The first one, just the first one alone, sold more than 120 million copies. That was the Philosopher's Stone. 80 languages. The Deathly Hallows. 15 million first print run, the largest of any book in the history of the world. What's happened here is that through this billion dollar theme park, movies, Broadway show, an entire generation has shifted their thinking about what is truth and what is the supernatural. So let's make it plain. The supernatural is good or evil. It's God or the devil. All the occult, all the witchcraft is always spiritual rebellion against Jehovah. We have a generation that has been brainwashed to think that there's nothing wrong with the demonic supernatural. But Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, is very plain. These things are an abomination to God and damning to the human soul. Don't you allow Harry Potter in your home for your children, your grandchildren, your church or Christian school. Or you, if you don't get banned from heaven, may at least be banished here and now for a living Harry Potter hell. Cancel curses, break soul ties, cleanse your ancestry, and cast out demons. Enroll now in the International School of Exorcism and the Advanced Academy of Deliverance. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.